Time for glitter, and for this step, I like using a fast setting epoxy. I just love that I can get this down, get my glitter on it, and start everything else in just a few hours. I do put a fairly healthy layer of epoxy down for here. I don't want my glitter to float around on top. I really need it to set down for this design. For the glitter, I pull about three to four different mixes of each color. I start with this red, and I'm kind of dropping it just around the area that that red is definitely don't fill it in this one's more of a chunky mix by the time we get all the different colors of red on there we're going to build a bunch of depth with the shades that we're using and it will end up filling in all that red and like i said this is just a guide so we don't have to get all this red covered right now we do want some of the blue to kind of stick to that red area and vice versa so get your colors, like I said, we're layering it through. I am focusing on some of those thinner colors inside that red towards those edges to make sure that it's covered. For the blue, I'm doing that same thing. I'm gonna lightly drop some of the blue into that blue area. I do want it to spread into that red. So you'll see a few of those blue chunks go over to the red and it really helps with that final design. This next blue that I'm grabbing is a thinner cut. Um, it's a it's like a medium fine mix and we're going to fill that in i am a little careful to make sure that the really fine glitters don't cover up that chunky because i don't want it to look dirty from here i just alternate the colors and fill in any blank spaces i didn't get glitter yet and like i said i am not worried about the blue traveling over to the red because by the time it's finished it really ties it in all together i don't like this design to be completely striped um it just it works out when it's kind of overflows just a little into the next color so go through fill that in and then we're going to get our parchment paper and squish down all of that glitter guys this is the most important step in here because you don't want to have to fight with this glitter later so get a piece of parchment paper and press it down if at some point when you're pressing that down the parchment paper lifts up and you do get any of that glitter removed it's not a big deal just go ahead and put more glitter down like just drop more in that section the reason why it will put will pull up is that if you have too much epoxy there the epoxy will soak through the glitter and it'll get removed on that parchment paper but like i said it's not a big deal just go ahead and drop it on there we're doing this one now for this orange and black be careful whenever you're doing this get your black down first if that orange glitter that i'm using here were to touch that black it's going to pull a green and you'll see that in one of the colors that i use for the chunky um it kind of it's really pretty fluorescent orange but at the same point when it touches that black it does want to flash green so what i did for this is i put some down and then slightly panicked <laughs> and pressed it in a little and covered it up with um with a different shade of orange it isn't completely covered which worked out perfect because some of that color does still poke through that brighter orange and it actually ended up tying together really great it didn't flash all that green by the time i built around with different shades of orange around there so the same thing i did on that other tumbler the red and blue and i'm doing here we're dropping different colors in different sections we're going to make sure that the edges are really covered with a finer glitter definitely pull a darker color glitter um for one of those shades that way you will really give you the depth and you'll see this when i get it outside in the sunlight how um how that color just really pulls through so drop that in we're going to do the same thing with the parchment paper here smush down all that glitter and we're going to let this set okay so this is a final look of the glitter layer um this is not at all finished it does need to be sanded needs more work on it but just as an idea this is the base layer of glitter and um and it's going to have a fun little swirl over it same kind of design going for this orange and black one it's going to have that swirl also but just to show you guys how the glitter layers and how pretty it is the next step we'll be cleaning up the edges and getting some glitter on that butt stay tuned 